。好，十二十三題呢，就係基礎遺傳學嘅題目。咁啊 ，Cathy 呢，養咗兩隻純種嘅貓，咁一隻呢，就長白毛，一隻呢，就短黑毛。咁已知道嘅就係毛嘅長度、毛嘅顏色呢，分別呢，就由兩個不同嘅基因呢，所以控制嘅。而呢兩隻純種貓呢，最後尾就生咗四隻貓仔呢佢哋都係長黑毛。咁就問返我哋啦，根據呢個實驗嘅結果啦，咁有啲咩嘅結論可以得到出嚟嘅？咁啊記緊返啦，係作為一個直接結論，就係、是、見到啲乜嘢就去諗啲咩嘢出嚟啦，就唔需要諗得太多。甚或乎啦，嗰、那個句子可能本身係啱嘅。但係啦，個實驗呢係反映唔到，都不能夠視之為一個結論嘅。咁一開波啦，成個 concept checking 呢就係講緊兩隻貓都係純種，咁所以佢哋就係 homo s y g r u s 純合型啦。咁佢哋無論啦係大大嘅 A B、細細 A B 定係大細溝埋，總之就係 homo s y g r u s 就係純合就已經可以啦。而出到嚟啦，無論呢係邊款演繹呢，佢哋嘅後代都必然係集合型 h e t e r o s y g r u s 而喺呢度呢，我哋要 check 嘅 concept 就係啦，喺一個集合型嘅情況底下，就只有顯性嘅等位基因呢係能夠俾人表達出嚟，又或者啦，隱性嘅等位基因呢就會被遮蓋咗個表現。既然全部嘅第一代嘅貓仔呢。都係集合型，而佢哋全部都係長黑毛的話呢，咁所以就長毛就係顯性，黑毛就係顯性啦。所以 A 嗰句佢話長毛呢係多聞人呢係正確嘅。而第二句就話啦，呢四隻貓仔呢，佢哋喺毛嘅長度同埋毛嘅顏色呢，都係同一款基因型，咁啱㗎，因為佢呢都係集合型嚟嘅。咁所以第二句呢都係正確。咁我到第三句啦，佢就話啦，控制毛髮長度同埋控制毛髮嘅顏色嘅基因呢。就分別位於呢喺唔同嘅染色體上面，咁其實呢句啦就唔係答案啦，因為呢，呢句啱定錯，我哋都不得而知，我就當佢係啱。實驗就睇唔到出嚟，就當佢係錯，就直頭唔會係結論。所以呢一句呢，係屬於結果未能夠明言到究竟佢係啱定係錯，所以呢，佢都不能夠作為一個結論。咁所以答案啦就只有 A 啦。四 question twelve and thirteen refer to the basic genetics topic. Kathy had two pure breed cats, so one had long white fur and the other had the short black fur. So it's known that fur length and fur color are controlled by two different genes, respectively. So these two cats give birth to four kittens, which had long black fur. So for this question, it's asking which of the following conclusions can we draw based on the observation. So remember the skills we need to draw the direct conclusion based on the observation. So the reminder is that when we read the statements, even it seems like to be correct or it is correct itself. However, if we cannot see any clue from the observation, it's still not a valid conclusion can be drawn. So for the first concept, the parents cats are pure breed, so that means both of them they are homozygous. Moment, I don't know long right or short breath which type of allele is the dominant, but. They are homozygous. No, no matter they are big A, big B, or small A, small B, or big A, small B, or small A, big B. They are still homozygous. So I just let it be. And they are offspring must be the heterozygous. That's something we can draw from the genetic diagram. And for the third concept is that in the heterozygous condition, only the dominant allele can be expressed, or we can say that the recessive allele expression are masked. By the dominant allele, so that's why if we see that all four kittens they are long black fur, so we can draw the conclusion that long fur allele is dominant over the short fur allele, and the black fur allele is dominant over the white fur allele. So for the statement one, long fur is dominant over the short fur. This statement is correct. And for the second statement, the four kittens have the same genotype for fur length and fur color. So we can see that from the genetic diagram. All the offspring they are heterozygous, so that's why they have the same genotype. Second statement is also correct, and for the third statement, it's talking about the gene controlling the fur length and fur color are located on different chromosomes. This statement is not the answer. It's not the conclusion. Maybe it is correct. Maybe it is wrong. However, the observation just cannot tell anything about this statement. It cannot prove that it is correct, or it cannot prove that it is wrong. So that's why number three is not the valid conclusion. So that's why the answer is A.